Welcome back to Lang Park for the 1991 series State of Origin Game 1 and our callers this evening, Darrell Eastlake and Ray Warren. Darrell. Thank you, Kenny. Well, no doubt about it, you're looking uh, at the referees out on the ground now. Very big moment for those two, the touch judges, Ross Pickard from New South Wales, Peter Betros from Queensland. In goal, judges Jim Cox and Russell Lease. Big, big crowd here, Ray Warren. Amazing emotion already we've seen tonight. Yes, I don't think the fans have let the promoters down. It's a full house, and that full house sign has been up for some three or four weeks now. And as you can see, just about every vantage point has been taken at Lang Park, which has got something very special as a rugby league arena. It's probably the best rugby league arena that you can watch a game at. It was sort of constructed for the game, and that's what makes it so different. Big night for Billy Harrigan, his first time here at Lang Park in state of origin conditions. Yeah, there's a lot of debutants here tonight. Bill, of course, is one of them, but he was entitled to the job. He got the job, and uh, I guess there's a few butterflies there for him at the moment. Here they come. Wally Lewis leading the side out now, and listen to this, the first time he's come to Lang Park in the Queensland colours since leaving the Broncos, and this crowd saying welcome home to Wally Lewis in the biggest possible way. There he is, the Emperor of Lang Park, back in his beloved maroon jumper. Steve Jackson, the big number 10. You can see Larson there from North Sydney. Look at this crowd, just loving every moment of their besotted Queenslanders. Underdogs tonight, no doubt about that. Here comes New South Wales. Benny Elias, of course, he smelt success last year, and he'll be out to keep that record intact. He's got a giant of a pack around him. He's got some exciting backs to use if the forwards can get a roll on as the reserves come through the gate. Benny already starting to G them up. Blocker Roach dressed up for a night in the office. And Laurie Daly back from injury tonight. Desi Hasler playing lock forward tonight for the Blues and uh, gee, we expect some from him. Cliffy Lyons, the man that's got to contain the King. Well, that's the blue jumper. He's got the green one, and of course he wants to keep it. And here he is, the sensational centre from Cronulla, Andrew Eddinghausen, being compared these days with Reg Gasnier. Queensland now going to the huddle. Mal Meninga, the giant of a man. Peter Jackson back in the jumper he loves so much. Look at Steve Jackson, the emotion on his face. Hancock is there. Well, Peter Sterling, you've been through this. Amazing emotion here. Yes, it is, and uh, the guys, you can see they're pumped up. They're ready to go. It's going to be underway very shortly, and it's going to be war for 80 minutes. National Anthem. Our home is good by sea. Our land abounds with nature's gifts. A beauty rich and rare. In history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair. In joyful strength, then let us sing. Come on, Lang Park, let's hear you one more time. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. With golden soil and well for all, our home is girt by sea. Our land abounds with nature's gifts, our beauty. Let every stage advance Australia fair In joyful strains then let us sing Advance Australia fair See the eyes on Blocker Roach, he's fired up the national anthem just sung by Graham Hendy just about ready to go, Peter Sterling. What do you predict here? New South Wales going in an unbelievable favourites here tonight. Yes, if they believe that, they're in trouble. I believe that New South Wales have the better preparation, the more settled team. But if they come up here thinking they've got any advantages, they'll get beaten. Billy Harrigan just waiting now for this entourage of photographers. A massive amount of people on the sidelines here. State of origin, number one, best of three series. That gives you a look at Lang Park. It's chock-a-block. The banana benders are out in force tonight. They love this place. They love this team. 
the head-to-head -head confrontations over the years. Queensland 18, New South Wales 12. And at Lane Park, it's Queensland 12, New South Wales 6. Kick-off now. New South Wales will run the ball out and immediately put the ball up in the air and they drive it back down. Hoff now driving it back. We're seeing a full-back duel at the moment. Kicking duel happening here at Lane Park. Defence can't come in again. New South Wales return the ball. Off underneath it, well positioned. Let's it bounce once, twice. Picked up by Khan. Khan steps and uh, now we're seeing the first tackle of the game. Really underway here. The defence on both sides will be absolutely massive as Meninga brings it up and there's plenty of attention too as they drag him down. Meninga fires the ball out very quickly now and you can see Queensland starting to settle. Jackson plays it back out. It comes again for Jackson. Peter Jackson this time, not on the halfway line, he's brought down. A lot of intensity already in the tackles, that's what it's all about here. Scuffering run already though, and Khan getting involved. From the go, also uh, Langer now, the little chip through. Comes back through O'Connor, O'Connor down inside the 22, and the Queenslanders now trying to hold the Blues back. Cliffy Lyons gets some big attention already. Three defenders going in. G, the main tackler. Still they come, New South Wales. Just one out trying to bring it out. Blocker Roach. And it won't be long before we see New South Wales kick. Both teams will be looking for field position in this first 10 minutes. They've got to play it down the other end of the football field. Were you surprised at the kicking duel first up? No, not at all. I think we'll see plenty of kicking in the next 10 minutes. As both sides try. If, if the opposition break you, you want them going 90 metres, not nine. Here's a man that can kick the ball. Stewart drives it down deep. Off trying to get across to cover it. Picked up by Hancock, though. Hancock winds up. Hasler grabs him. Lions over the top, though. Eddinghausen it was that went down low. Again, they're stepping Queensland. Trying to get outside the 22. But the New South Wales defence is there. The ball was loose. Scampering through when Cliffy Lions... <laughs> And that caught everybody by surprise. He looked confident, Cliffy Lyons, didn't he? He came up, he expected the four points, but uh, certainly a penalty to Queensland, and this will relieve some early pressure. Well, I'll see this again, because here was the tackle, and the ball just went uh, straight into, uh, into Cliffy Lyons, and he was off. He thought, this is mine. No way, says Harrigan. So, Queensland kick from deep in the 22. Not a bad sort of kick either. It drives them uh, midway between the half and the quarter. Martin Bella brings it up. Straight in they go on him. Blocker and Elias, the Balmain connection, take him and drag him down. Wall is a dummy half. Little scampering run, only makes four or five metres, but does get him to the halfway line. Jackson feeds it out. Oh, and McLean hit very, very hard and loses the ball. Cleaned up by Queensland, but the scrum will pack down on the halfway line. And Mike McLean just found out in one hit what state of origin football is all about. Wasn't the best of passes to him, but uh, he certainly cut a good shoulder there from the New South Wales forwards. Big hit on McLean, playing uh, from Newcastle these days. Again, New South Wales are kicking very, very early. They've driven Queensland round home. Hoff gets those big legs pumping, gets the ball near his own line. Eddinghausen, though, so much speed. He chases, great chase from Eddinghausen. Brings him down just a few metres out. Langer, Langer looks for runners. It's Larson, an odd big hit from Siren and two. He wraps him up, ball and all. Larson up quickly, out it comes from Wallers. They're running it out, trying desperately to get out of this 22 as G will play it. Back for Walters. Now they go to Bella. Bella gets through one, but no, they can't. They come back and get him. Stewart down low. Roberts over the top. Looking for runners very shallow at the moment. Walters gets a little break, though. Goes four or five and takes play midway between the half and loses the ball, too. Comes out the Lions. Lions running around in circles. Daly was behind him, but he was too close. So Lions went to ground with the ball. Out it comes to Daly. Daly, though, wrapped up pretty quickly. Well, Daly coming back from an injury too, Peter. It's, it's a, a big, big game for him. Yes, very much so. You know, he, he had a, a terrible kangaroo tour, I suppose, injury-wise, and he has come into the side with a very minimum amount of football. Uh, he's one of the strike players for New South Wales, and he has he is a little bit um, dicky in the knee at the moment. So keep your eye on Laurie Daly coming back out of injury. Nice ball away then. Fifth tackle now, though. Johns will get up and play it back to Eddinghouse, and they fire it out. The ball goes towering high from uh, Ricky Stewart's boot. 
Down it goes, beautifully taken though. Oh gee whiz, he took that well off. He just climbed up and got it. Never took his eyes off it. Lewis goes for a gallop too. Listen to the crowd every time he touches it. Expect a big one from Wally Lewis tonight. He's got to answer a lot of critics up here. He's certainly grabbed a lot of press. Jackson plays it back to Wallace. Wallace on the Larson. Larson wrapped up pretty quickly too. Larson very involved with this side right throughout training. We welcome our New Zealand viewers. We welcome our viewers in Great Britain through the Sky Channel over there. The network showing you this State of Origin match. First of the series from Lang Park here in Brisbane. Langer. Clears the ball out though, comes back, freak bounce, they get it back, bit of room to move, wrapped up pretty quickly though, crowd don't like that one, bit of push and shove, change over for New South Wales, comes out the Lions, Lions turns it back inside the Daly, got half a break there but they grabbed him pretty quickly, wrapped him up midway between the quarter and the half, Queensland's end of the ground at the moment, Daly again, Daly looking to unload it quickly, gets a Stewart on to Roberts, they wrap him up pretty quickly though and a little bit going on the tackle too from G's a fierce defender Lewis in there to help as well Queensland swarming in three and four tacklers Roach plays it back to Elias out through Stewart now comes on to uh, Daly Daly turns it back inside half a chance for New South Wales they're only about four metres out chance for the Blues now Hasler dummy half Fires it out for Ricky Stewart. Stewart trying to link up. He turns it back inside to Elias. Back inside to Sheridan. Sheridan crashing hard. The ball down about a metre and a half out. New South Wales with plenty of room to move at the moment. Lions, little chip kick. The big chase is through. It's too big. Well, plenty of pressure. They really had an opportunity there in New South Wales. Chris Johns didn't know that Andrew Eddinghausen was outside him unmarked. It, it could have been a try in the corner if he'd have been able to see out of the corner of his eye. In the end, we've seen a kick by Cliff Lyons. It's gone too far. Back out to the 25 Queensland ball. So seven minutes gone in the first state of origin for 1991. Queensland bringing it back from the tap 22. The match opening at a furious pace as Bella plays the ball now. This is McLean away for Larson. One of the new boys in town. Comes from a little place called Miriam Vale here in Queensland. A population of 500 and they'd be very proud people out there tonight jackson now to play it steve jackson the western suburbs player langer little chip kick fielded by stewart seven on seven near the halfway for lions and a beautiful ball alexander he's inside the 22 hoff comes at him good cover by hoff Great defence, Paul Hoff, one-on-one, -on -one. Greg Alexander almost unstoppable. He showed him the sideline, really restricted the options that he had and was able to put him over the sideline in a great tackle. Sensational ball by Cliff Lyons, putting Brandy Alexander into a big space. It was one-on-one, -on -one. Hoff used the sideline to advantage. Queensland coming up with the scrum win. It's Khan. About 12 metres out from their own line now, Michael McClay. Bella, only international in the Queensland pack. An enormous job in front of Marty Bella tonight. This is G, was found as an Australian schoolboy by Wayne Bennett. He's kept close tabs on him. And now Andrew G, firmly with the Broncos. Peter Jackson puts in the kick. Alexander's there, coming out to the 40 metre line. Gavin Miller on the sideline. This match has started very much like the 30 that preceded it. Yes, Ray, a very, very intense start of the game. I will say this, Ray, that if, if they lay off Cliff Lyons, he'll carve you up, and that's what's happening at the start of this game. Gaia. He came here in July of 1989. He thought it was a marvellous occasion, but he didn't think so when he left. He's out to rectify it. Blocker Roach. Elias. Short ball for Geyer. Gets a good pass away. Ettinghausen, he's over the 22, uses the kick, and again Paul Hoff rises to the occasion. Enormous pressure for the young fullback from Queensland. Willie Khan. 
rousing tackle there by Ian Roberts. Lewis now. Hasler around the bootlaces. Well, Bob Linder, young Paul Hoff, has had a lot said about him since he came into the side at the last moment to replace Gary Belcher. He's had plenty of pressure, but he soaked it up beautifully. That's right, Ray. They've uh, certainly put him under plenty of pressure, all right. But uh, he showed tremendous speed to get that back there with Alexander and, and also uh, chasing Eddinghausen's kick. And he handled the situation magnificently. He's really playing well at the moment. Alexander for O'Connor. Players near the halfway line. Five on five. Cunning on O'Connor. Daly flirts with the sideline. Dummy half, Michael O'Connor. Sirenen. Good yards. Midway 22, halfway. The Maroons end of the field. Stewart shows it, turns it inside for Roberts. This is the last tackle coming up. Stewart wants it to the right. Stewart feigns to kick, gives it to Lyons. Lyons puts the grubber in. A race for the ball, but it finds touch. 15 out in front of the member stand. Scrum packing, Langer to feed. Michael Hancock, scored two tries in his origin debut. Great run by Hancock. Alexander did the chasing and the catching. Langer, now Jackson, Peter, hit by Eddinghausen. Away for Langer, pulled down by Geyer. Fair ball to Bella. Through G to McLean. McLean wrestled to the ground by Lyons. Ball raked back by Benny Elias. That restarts the tackle count. Right on the halfway mark. Bella. Four New South Welshmen going in to stop Martin Bella. Twelfth state of origin for him tonight. Andrew G now gets it out the back. Swamping tackle by Sirenen on Walters. Now Langer. They're five metres into Blues territory. Meninga. Meninga gets the ball away. Paul Hoff comes into the back line wide out. Takes it just inside the quarter. Car for Jackson. Infield for Meninga. Ten metres out. No score. 13 minutes gone of the 31st state of origin. Last tackle. Jackson goes to the air. New South Wales ball, cleanly. 18 metres out. It took a long time for Queensland to get down this end of the field, but uh, once they got here, they certainly showed they were prepared to keep the ball alive and look very dangerous. New South Wales now to play the ball. The outside the 22 by about five metres. So got a bit of breathing space at the moment, but look at this defence from Queensland. Swarming tackles, belting the New South Wales players down, ball and all. Elias now fires it out for, for Roach. He gets one out the back door. Hasler gets a little darting run. He's wrapped up, though, pretty quickly. Larson and Bella, the North Sydney uh, player that's done so well to get here, and he's really been involved in this game so far. Larson comes back for Hancock. He's made one great break. He can see him stuttering away. He gets out of one. Punch. He always beats the first man. Yes, he does. Sometimes he beats more than, than one man, but a lot of times it's a cross field. Run much straighter tonight and already has made a, a very impressive 30, 40 metre break. Wallace out to Langer. Langer out to Lewis. Lewis puts the other uh, ball in the air. Now watch this. He knows every blade of grass in this ground. He's done it again. <laughs> You think he can't kick a ball here at Lane Park? Well, there was never any doubt once it left the boot, it was going to go to the sideline. I think the crowd ruled it that way. But again, the kicking game, very instrumental in this match so far. They are looking for field position. Queensland now have it. So the scrum, the pack just outside the 22. The Blues end of the ground. Still no score here. Intriguing game. Played at a fierce pace as they always are. New South Wales most recent win at Lane Park, June the 2nd, 1987. That was 20 to 16, the victory there. Now it goes out. Watch this man, Motor Eddinghouse, and he puts it down to the floor, but they come back and get him over the halfway line. He's got amazing pace, this fellow. 
Fantastic hands and feet. Dyer will get up and play it. Gets another three or four metres. Now it comes to Stewart. Stewart looks for Hasler. Hasler wrapped up pretty quickly. Throws a wild one back. Alexander can't handle it over the... Uh, over the sideline, so a bit messy then, Peter, from New South Wales. That one wild pass coming back. Yeah, certainly not the kind of play that Tim Sheens would be looking for early in the tackle count. And uh, the scrum now goes on with a Queensland feed. Your comments about Queensland's forward pack at this stage, I mean, they're saying that this Blues pack is going to overrun them, but so far the defence has been very good. Well, that, it has been good, but it's really New South Wales should be in, on, in front on the scoreboard. They have created more opportunities. Cliff Lyons has been superb in this first 15 minutes. Um, but between the packs, probably not a great deal. New South Wales may be a little bit stronger. Bella now. Hard and straight. Plenty big, plenty tough as Bella. Still they go, trying to probe their way in. Wallace will play it back to Langer. They're getting centre field almost to the 22. Now a little short ball from the Ninguries. Wrapped up pretty quickly. Gets it away though. Comes out to Willie Kahn. Khan wrapped up, they lose about a metre and a half in that movement. Hoff gets it out to Langer. Langer now stabs the ball. In it goes, beautifully taken by Alexander, though. He winds up, wrapped up though, 10 metres out. Still trying to get up and run as Alexander. Now he's trying to play the ball. Well, there's got to be a penalty there. I mean, they just held on and held on. He did everything he could to get out of it. Certainly milked it too, Greg Alexander, didn't he? No doubt about that. Lashed around and spun around. Jackson wouldn't let him go. Here we go again, Peter. Well, watch this. There's the tackle. Well, I suppose it's hard to work out when the tackle has been affected. Greg Alexander's still on his feet. Bill Harrigan, I don't know if he called it, but uh, the penalty has gone New South Wales way. So the Blues now outside the 22 with room to move. Halfway between the 22 and the halfway line. They're into the ground. Roberts wrapped up pretty quickly due to giving him no room at all. He's been plagued with injuries when the big games come around. No doubt about that. Geyer now. Huge man, Geyer. Still standing in the tackle. Now they belt him down. Right centre field now. Which way will they go? They come near the big stand side as Lyons puts the ball in the air again. Hoff perfectly positioned though. Takes it on his 22. The big legs start to pump. Taken though with a beautiful bit of defence from Cliffy Lyons. He followed his kick right through Langer. Gets it out to Kahn. Willie Kahn, well, I tell you what, he's very involved for a winger, Willie Kahn, at the moment. Yes, I think he's a future international, though. He's got great evasion. He's not a big man, but got good speed and very difficult to put the ground, a la Chicka Ferguson. Brown didn't like that on McLean. High shot on McLean, but the referee lets it go. Harrigan now it comes out to Lewis. Lewis gets Beninga on the fly. Beninga, he throws a big dummy and gets to the 22. Turns it inside to Lewis. Big some big defence on Lewis, and they belt him down inside the 22. Queensland wanting to run that time. Langer now. Langer looking for support. He gets Jackson. Jackson shows the ball. Gets it away quickly to Willie Kahn. He's taken down. 13 metres out from the Blues line now. Back it comes. Little chip kick from Langer, but they dive on it and clean it up quickly. Who got that ball? It was Roberts. Was it Roberts? Yes. And they've obviously done their homework with Alan Langer. He's put a couple of short kicks through, but they have cleaned them up quite effectively, and it'll be interesting to see if Langer perseveres with that tactic. So we come down with 21 and a half minutes of the first half remaining, and uh, still no score on that giant board which has changed ends here at Lang Park from the last time we were here. Alexander's tackle on Lewis during Darrell's commentary, it was a ball and all tackle, a complete smother, had to be, because Wally was heading for the try line. Oh, Stewart knocks on just outside the 22. Great, it's a turnover. So no scrum, but away quickly to Lewis. Now to Meninga. Pressure now for the Blues. Lewis, Larson, just inside the quarterway line. Walters to dummy half. Bella, 15 out now. Langer, lurking on the left, looking to turn it back inside. Looking for a hole behind to play the ball. 12 metres up. Away from G for Lewis. Across and fading and running the angle, Meninga. Pressure comes off for a moment. Walters 
away from the tackle by Roach. Last tackle coming up. Langer works towards the corner. Turns it back inside. Off the boot. Hasler cleans up. Line dropout. They'll come back for six more, the Maroons. Interchange getting ready. Gillespie and Lazarus. The match being played at this furious pace and Tim Sheens pretty obviously resorting to an early interchange. Kevin Walters limbering up in 14 for Queensland as well. Well, Bobby Linder, New South Wales soaking up the pressure there, but they, they're about to come back, your mob. Well, yes, Ray. Um, Peter mentioned that uh, Alan Langer wasn't getting too, too far with his chips along the ground, and uh, Alfie sort of answered Peter's question and come back with a magnificent kick. It looked like he kicked it at nearly a 90-degree angle to the, the angle he was running on. It was a superb kick and uh, put New South Wales on a lot of pressure again. Andrew G coughs up the ball to Blues now with Roach. Just beyond his own quarter, Hasler. Oh, God, got a bad ball. It's loose, it could be play on, it is. McLean diving on the ball for Queensland. Langer up the blind side, mark of defence not there. That's the 22 line. Bella again. He's lost it. Could be a New South Wales ball. It is. Played by Roberts. Hasler tidied up by Jackson. Elias. Long ball for Stewart. Even longer ball for Lyons. Inside goes up to Daly. Outside the 22 to the 32. Ridden to the ground though by Larson. Now it's Roach. Elias. Into a gap. Go Stewart. Wide for Gaia now. Inside for Stewart. Back for Elias and put down. Handling errors becoming prevalent now as Larson goes back over the halfway. Certainly a lot of mistakes, Ray. In the first 10 minutes, plenty of mistakes by Queensland in their own half. New South Wales starting to commit those errors now. Tide starting to turn a little bit. McLean. New South Wales had a good territorial advantage in the first 10, but I'm sure that's levelled out in the minutes that followed. This is Meninga proving a hard target. Bad ball for Lewis. He did well to get it to Hoff, and the big lad goes down inside the 32. This is the last. Langer now. Queensland with a marvellous option of Langer and Lewis. Alexander in and out and around Ettinghausen Ettinghausen's over the halfway great chase and tackle by Hoff Stewart Lions. this is where New South Wales are creating problems the long ball from the halves inside for Daly put down by Hasler knock on and a scramble pack just inside the 32 metre line. Well, another great opportunity lost by New South Wales, and it was again Cliff Lines getting men to run angles on him, certainly creating plenty of, of problems for the Queensland defence, but in the end, again breaking down through a bad pass. Pete, the ability of Stewart and Lyons to, play, to, to throw the long ball, it's really stretching Queensland and it's creating openings. Yes, it certainly is. Uh, Stewart throwing the ball. 20 metres and, and giving Lions plenty of, of opportunity and plenty of room out wide and as you said that's exactly where Queensland are experiencing problems. Martin Bella again. Sirenen has come from the, the field. David Gillespie is on. Michael O'Connor now. Leading point scorer over the series since its inception in 1980 for New South Wales that is. Chris Jones. Hasler. Little misunderstanding there between Hasler and Guy. 
New South Wales now through Gillespie, the fresh man on. Belts it up four or five, taken down though. Larson doing a lot of work in defence, Peter Sterling. Yes, he is. He's played quite well, and we've seen a change, interchange for the, the Blues. I wouldn't be surprised to see one from Queensland. Really appears to me Mike McLean struggling with this rising class. He may be the man. Hoff now has done nothing wrong here tonight. Gee whiz, he's had a lot of work to do back in that area, close to his own uh, try line, but he's done a very good job, and so has this man, Willie Kahn. He's run him out of trouble before. Kahn winds up now. Taken down, gets a good ball away to it. Goes to Hancock. That pass took the bit suspect from where, from where Angle, but look at this, and Hancock steps around, and they take it from virtually their own line to the halfway line. Good run. Yeah, great run again, and, and good ball movement by Queensland. They're really looking to throw the ball. Lewis... Again, up the middle there, but forward motion all the time. They're starting to look good with the football in their hands. Playing with a lot of confidence now. There's still no score here, and that is a surprise for anybody that was backing this Blues side in to win this game by a handsome score. Queensland, though, they grow another leg here in Lang Park. We all know that. Jackson, dummy half, looks to kick. Faints the kick, makes the break, Jackson inside two. They get it away quickly, but a sloppy ball comes down. Picked up by Steve Jackson. He puts his toe to it. Come down pretty hard too, and there's the element. There's the mistake from Alexander they were looking for too. Well, he didn't have any pressure on him then. No, he didn't have any pressure, but the, the penalty has gone to the Queensland side. The referee, Bill Harrigan, claimed that it was a late tackle on Steve Jackson who put the little kick through. And uh, I suppose that... Two points is maybe better than, than a try. There was that tackle again, and Jackson, of course, has got to a bad knee too. I cannot believe, Peter, at the moment, how many players are carrying knee injuries. No, well, I suppose it's very prevalent in the game today with the amount of, of defence and the type of defence with the gang tackle. It's, uh, you know, a lot of guys experiencing that problem. Steve Jackson seems to be going OK out there, but he's certainly got it strapped to the hilt. Well, watching them a lot of training throughout the week and uh, Jackson was limping after uh, the sprint sessions. There was no doubt about that. He was favouring it. McLean seemed to handle it a lot better. They've both got enormous strapping on. Cliffy Lyons has had a fantastic game here so far. Lewis. There we see Graham Lowe in the stand. He probably looks more nervous than anyone talking to Tossa Turner, the manager there, or listening to Tossa Turner. He'd be pretty happy to see this go over from the boot of Mel Meninga. Well, Meninga was here the other day, Ray, and he must have kicked 30 or 40, and he didn't miss one. That's probably why he scored more points in origin football than any other man. 129. Four tries. And he's got another, so, another two, Darrell. So, the score at the moment, Queensland leading New South Wales 2-0. Welcome back to Lang Park. And welcome back to Lang Park. Alexander got us going. Meninga brings it back on the first tackle on this set of six. 2-0 in favour of the Queenslanders. Jackson. Walters. He's made plenty of scurries out from dummy half. G. Midway 22, halfway. Queensland's end of the field. Larson. Lewis now. Lewis plugs it down between fullback and winger. Michael O'Connor. The Gavin New South Wales opened them up a few times early on, but. Uh, the momentum seems to be with the Maroons at the moment. Very much so, Ray. I think that both sides have been guilty of not being able to... Ray, it's back to you, Ray. Yes, a big run, big run down the centre by Johns. Linking up with him was Eddinghausen. He can't handle. And Paul Hoff comes away with it. Over the halfway. Loses the ball. New South Wales through Gillespie. Back with it again. But he may have lost the ball at the end of that. But again, great work from Paul Hoff. An enormous bust up the middle there. It looked as though it was going to be Eddinghausen under the post, but he positioned himself beautifully in defence and, and saved another four points. 
O'Connor. Elias. Now Gillespie. It's his first touch in attack. Stewart puts it down. And a scrum will go down. Gavin, uh, we had to interrupt as John's made that big bust down the centre. You were saying... Well, both sides, Ray, have been guilty of a lot of drop ball and the side that can maintain a little bit of pressure is the side that they can control the ball. But I think that New South Wales have taken a number of wrong options and that's why they're under pressure. Langer. Larson. Well, all the pre-match discussion seemed to centre around the New South Wales International Six in the forwards against Martin Bella and basically five players that uh, they were hoping might do the job but at the moment somebody forgot to hand them the script they're doing fine the new the, uh, the Queensland pack in opposition to an awesome blue six Meninga's kick looked to me to come off a blue jumper it may have come off a New South Wales player. Langer's come up with the feed. Danger here for New South Wales. The scrum collapses. Langer comes away with the football. Scrum penalty. Scrum penalty goes to Queensland. Differential. I wouldn't have been surprised had he have allowed the advantage rule to apply there. Well, he did allow the advantage to, to a certain extent, but Ian Roberts had broken from the scrum. I think he put a little bit of a hip into Alan Langer and, and stopped any ball movement from there, so the right decision was given in the end. Lewis finding the line. Five metres inside the quarter. Very good chance here for Queensland. Leading two points to nil. A penalty for Meninga. Langer nearly lost it. Larson goes up the blind side. Back to where they started from. Elias waits for it. Comes up with the ball. New South Wales back with the football. Daly. Elias instructed to take the ball. Five metres from the player down. O'Connor. Ian Roberts, right on the quarterway line. Roach cut out. This is Gaia. Stewart. Langer wrapping Stewart up inside the 22. A kick coming for Alexander. He plugs it down towards the wing occupied by Hancock. Hoff. Khan folding in from the wing to first receiver. Ten metres Queensland side of halfway. And a penalty goes to Queensland against New South Wales for milking the ball. There's no doubt about that penalty. A little hand went in there, knocked the ball out, looking for a scrum, but it's gone to a penalty for Queensland and really coming into a crucial stage now, the last six minutes of the first half. Amazing how many times points are scored just before half time. Jackson with the touch finder. Bella now for Queensland it takes it up hard and straight to just outside. The 22, oh, well, he's about 30 metres out now from the line. As Peter said, this danger period, five minutes before half-time. Queensland leading at the moment, 2-0. Now they've worked it to the 22. It goes to Langer. Langer gets it out to Lewis. Lewis on the Meninga. They come back inside. Jackson fires one out to Lewis. It's hot potato time at the moment as Larson takes it up. But they probably lost two or three metres with all of that chain passing. No one running onto the ball at the moment. Langer with a little dummy. Oh, and runs into a big one, Langer. But gets inside that 22 by a couple of metres. Langer dummy half. 
Out it goes to Lewis. Lewis kicks over just inside the line. Nicely weighted kick. Oh, and New South Wales just handball it over. Beautifully weighted kick, but the chaser just couldn't get close enough. Yeah, it's a lovely kick there from Wally Lewis. And again, he's got his eye on the clock. It'll be a line drop out. They'll receive the ball. And with five minutes left on the clock, another great scoring opportunity. He knows every blade of grass at this ground, does he? No doubt about that. Well, he's got a great kicking game and a very intelligent kicking game. He knows when to kick high, when to kick low, and that was just another example of that. 4.41 on the clock. This the first half. Queensland still leading 2-0 over New South Wales. Stewart from under the post. Gets a nice kick out. It'll finish up just about on the halfway line to Hoff. He gets it on to Larson. Larson winds up. Brings it 32 out from the line again. Walters a dummy half. Looking for the runners down. He gets it on the Bella Bella mishandles though. McLean cleaned it up, but it's going to be uh, the scrum to pack surely. Yes. yes, he's real to knock on. It, it was a knock on. <laughs> Much to the crowd's disdain. They felt as though a Queensland player actually propelled the ball back the other way, but no doubt a Queensland knock on. A little hesitant with the signal there to which way he was going to go, but the scrum is packed down now. Well, a wasted chance in Peter from Queensland, really. Yeah, second tackle and um, in good field position. They did have a, a great opportunity, as it has been all game. Both teams really have had a lot of, of opportunities to run in points. Amazing to look at the scoreboard and see that it's two points to nil. Martin Bella getting a dressing down from Bill Harrigan at the moment. And I'm not quite sure what's that all, what's all about, but he's handing something over. I know that Martin sometimes wears contact lenses. I'm just wondering if that's what they are. It's either that or teeth. Well, it's a penalty gone to New South Wales there. I'm not quite sure what that call was about. But you're right, Martin Bella does wear contact lenses, and that didn't look as though what was being handed to the referee. But unless somebody said something, I, I couldn't really pick up why the penalty has gone to the Blues. OK, so New South Wales now with 3.06 on the clock. Eddinghausen has showed surprising speed that we know that he's got lines. Crunch down lines. <laughs> Big tackle from McLean. Elias fires it back inside to Roberts. He gets a quick ball away to Gillespie, then on to Stewart. Goes on to Geyer. Geyer skirts out wide, but they're under him straight away. They haven't given Geyer half an inch to move. No, they haven't. He's been looking to sc scout out wide, and that, that is his go, certainly with the Penrith club. But the defence has been very good on the fringes of the ruck, and Mark Geyer's found it difficult to get into this game. John's playing it back to Elias now. Elias, with a little jinking run, gets over the line, puts the ball in the air, but it's cleaned up pretty quickly. Does a bit of a dragging trick. Langer gets the jump right over the head. Plays it back. <laughs> Hoff, fantastic first half from Hoff. See enormous pressure on this fellow when he came into the side with Gary Belcher, of course, withdrawing late on Monday. Tim Sheens high in the stand. You can see the executive there, the New South Wales Rugby League. They did a shell shock, Peter, I think, with this scoreline at the moment. Well, they... If they thought that it was going to be easy, that, that's certainly been put out of their minds. And uh, they have made a lot of mistakes. Lyons has gone a little bit quiet, but we see Daly get half getting away down the sideline now. And this is a little bit better from New South Wales. Daly belted down too. Larson again. Lewis, the two L's. Alexander, dummy half, gets it on to Roberts. Roberts winds up. Straight onto him, though. Down he goes. Elias, they're midway between the half and the quarter. Clock with 1.25. Time running out. Blocker Roach. Flicks one wide out for Gillespie. Really got to go back after him. He had to chase the ball. And another loose ball from New South Wales. Well, there's plenty of handling mistakes, and Queensland come up with McLean now. Charging over the halfway line is McLean. Lewis doing plenty of pointing, saying there was a knee used in the tackle from Geyer. Comes on to Bella. He winds up. They wind him up. Down he goes. Midway between the half the quarter. New South Wales into the ground and the time staying to wind down. Larson now. Nice run from Larson and some big defence from New South Wales. This crowd starting to urge him on. Langer. Langer kicks. Come to chases. Willie Kahn really going here to Co Connor. Two of the best men on the flank chasing the ball, but the kick too big. They had to give it too much start. So Queensland throwing the ball in the air whenever they can. Twenty-three seconds and counting down at the moment. Benny Elias just jogging back. 
Roach winding up. Roach takes it. They take him. He gets a ball to Elias. He only just managed to hold that too. Then it goes to Geyer. Geyer gets it onto Eddinghouse and he winds up. But they're straight onto him. He's tackled just on the 22. And there's a blue going on centre field. Punches are being thrown. Roach is involved. Bella pushes him out of the way. Yeah, Steve Roach and Andrew G, the two players involved. Uh, it looked like Roach, you were throwing plenty. I don't know how, how many were landing. Well, it wouldn't be state of origin if Stephen Roach didn't show a little emotion. <laughs> the big fella. Coming back now. Break it up, lads, on the scoreboard. <laughs> well, a little discussion going on centre field. Well, it's been a funny first half of football, Peter Sterling, so far. It has been a funny game, and uh, as I said earlier, to see it only 2 0 on the scoreboard with the amount of opportunities, but really the outstanding thing as the half time siren does sound has been the amount of mistakes and, and not necessarily under pressure. Well, there we go as the players leave the ground after a first half of football. It's been a little confusing with the handling errors, Ray Warren. You'd have to agree with that, but Queensland are on the board 2 0 at this stage. Here's the Donnybrook coming up. That's where it started. Roach has thrown one to G. In fact, he threw quite a few. Have a little wrestling match while Eddinghausen was running the ball. Bella trying to keep Roberts out, and that was all it amounted to. Well, the players are coming back out onto the field. Thanks, Bobby Lindner, and uh, this is going to be a terrific uh, second half. We'll uh, have Darrell Eastlake and, uh, and uh, Ray Warren here in a moment to call all the action. But Peter Sterling, let me tell you, I think Wally Lewis has done a very, very good job. Played within himself. He's done a very smart job. There, there's the man on the screen. He's paced himself. He's injected it into the game when he felt the time was right. Uh, and probably a little bit like Laurie Daly. I think they both have paced themselves. But when they've come in, they've done good jobs. I'm waiting to see what Mark Guy can do. He's an impact player, and he hasn't been allowed to get into it yet. Well, in these kind of games, you can't wait to get into it. You've got to make something happen yourself. And he's got to start getting in a little bit closer to the ruck. Have a look, Lewis there. He's copped a good one over the eye. Not too happy about it either. But, uh, yeah, certainly Mark Guy needs to get in closer to the ruck, get the football under his arm a little bit more, and start taking these forwards up the middle. Well, he seems to be saying to himself, am I seeing double? Is that a number one finger or whatever? Are we going to be number one tonight? And the way they're playing, uh, they're certainly defying all the odds. Nobody expected to score like line like this at halftime. But uh, Peter Sterling, I think that uh, we might see things change in this next 40. I'm prepared to say that we'll see a lot of points scored in this second half. All right, we're getting ready for the kickoff. Here is our boys, Darrell Eastlake and Ray Warren. Thank you very much, Ken. Well, a kickoff again from New South Wales. Drives it deep. Back they come. Mal Meninga winds up and all right into the action as Mal Meninga as he gets belted down on the 22. Queensland, plenty of attack already. And they come. Coyne will get up and play it. Back it goes for the kick. And Jackson drives it down now. Alexander staying to run the ball back. New South Wales have some new players on. We'll come to them in a minute. Hasler dancing around. Halfway between the, the 22 and the halfway line. Gillespie. Roberts. Look at this Queensland defence, swarms in on Roberts. Elias out for Ricky Stewart, he clears it down, drives the ball deep. Hoff coming across. Doesn't have to though, Willie Kahn takes it. Hoff, by the way, is 21 years of age tomorrow. So, gee was a win tonight, won't that make it a big party? If they can hang on at the moment, 2-0, Queensland leading. Daryl Gavin Allen is on as well as Gary Coyne for the Queenslanders. Thank you, Ray. Larson will play it back. Goes on to Wallers. He gets four or five. They're working their way back to the halfway line now. 32 out. As Wally Lewis drives the ball down, Gavin Miller on the sidelines. Yes. Yes, Darrell. A significant change is that Mark Guy, the player that you spoke about, has been replaced at half time. And Paul Serenin's back on. Well, they didn't really let Guy move, did they? 
No, they certainly didn't, Darrell. He was contained very well by an enthusiastic defensive line. Gavin Miller bringing us all the information from the other side of the ground on the sidelines with Bobby Linder. Gavin Miller, of course, captain New South Wales, never came to Lang Park for a win. Siren and now building his way over the 22 line. Just on the situation of Mark Guy, very interesting to have a look at the amount of hit-ups in the first half. Guy actually led the New South Wales hit-ups with 12 in front of Steve Rach on 10. So maybe a little bit, little bit more work than we, than we saw and gave him credit for. No doubt about that. Figures very, very interesting there. Hoff underneath now. Takes it nicely on the run, the big fella. 21 years of age tomorrow. Taken down just short of the halfway line. Langer moves into dummy half. Queensland slow to come back, though. Very slow to come back. Both uh, sides were pretty tired just before half time. Langer gets it out to Meninga. Wrapped up by Daly. Siren in there. Willie Khan jumps in at uh, dummy half. Now it comes back again. G. Runs into too much defence, though, in the shape of Roberts. You don't run around Roberts. Langer gets a lucky ball away to Larson. Busy player, Larson. He's uh, certainly made his presence felt here in this first half. Loose ball, Lewis. Well, Lewis just dived on it with a boot. <laughs> Rides it downfield and won't find the line. But you want the bad kick. Well, that is a freakish bit of play from Wally Lewis and the kind of stuff we've come to expect from him. A bad pass from Dummy Half. He was able to kick the football down, not even in his hands, and he's gained 30, 40 metres. Unbelievable. No doubt about that. He wasn't going to try it, pick it up because he took the boot to it. O'Connor having a bit to say too. Back it comes to Elias. And the Gillespie's wrapped up pretty quick, though. This defence is savage. Plenty of Blake's walking in the Blues outfit. They, these are where the hard yards need to be taken. They've got to get together. Both sides seem a little tired to me. Both sides. In fact, Ray Warren and I were talking about it at half-time. They were walking. Of course, it was paid at a fierce pace that first 30 minutes. Hoff has been beautifully positioned tonight. No doubt about that. Winds those big long legs up now. Good run again from Hoff. He's done nothing wrong. No, he's been a great performer for the Blue, for the Maroons against the Blues tonight. It's, to me, he's been the standout player. Done everything right. And um, to have Gary Belcher pull out and replaced by this guy, they've, they've certainly very well served in the fullback department. Lewis. Turns it around for Jackson. Jackson fires a wild one back to Lewis. They clear it out now for Fabella. The big fella winds up. For four and wrestle down two with Sheridan. Two of the biggest men in the game coming together there. Willie Khan, very busy at dummy half and the play gets over there. Prepared to come in and look for work. Willie Khan. Walters now at dummy half. Fires it out for Langer. Langer the little run throws a dummy. Gets through, puts the chip through. Taken by Hasler. Back for Stewart. Now they look for runners. Cliffy Lyons gets it on to Eddinghausen. Eddinghausen wrapped up by Jackson, though. For Elias. Elias looked the pass, decided they were too far away, so took the tackle. Lyons comes into dummy half. Has a little run. Nice little back pass there for Elias. What a savage treatment. I bet, I bet Benny wishes he hadn't given it to him. No doubt about that. Yeah, Serena now. Pretty good battle between the two hookers, Steve Rollers and Ben Elias. I don't know who's got the points decision at the moment. As we see, another mistake. John's that time. Well, Ray Warren, New South Wales and Queensland both look tired, and I think we can expect a lot of kicking at the moment till they both draw a bit of air up. Wayne right, Sterlow said it at half time when he forecast plenty of points coming in the second half. We've had six minutes of the second half gone, and again, Paul Hoff required to take it ahead. Well, Martin Bella went on to this match with a tremendous assignment in front of him. Bob Linder, your rating of him so far? Well, I think he's done a fine job. He's done, had a lot of work to do up the middle. There's another great kick from Wally. The crowd lets him know about it too. But uh, I think he's done a fine job. He just copped a hard knock there. He's a little bit wobbly on his feet at the moment. And uh, just by the way, at halftime, um, just before halftime, Marty did lose a contact lens, but he had a spare one in his port. And uh, he's back to seeing uh, single again, I hope. Well, Lewis is starting to get his kicking game going as New South Wales win the scrum. This is Daly. Good ball. Eddinghausen, weaving run, 
A run of 30 metres. Johns is the dummy half. O'Connor. Good work by O'Connor. He came right across from the left flank to fold in his first receiver. Hasler. Just out of that first half, Peter Sterling. When Cliffy Lyons runs across the ground, I was just thinking, looking at Wally Lewis, particularly in defence, maybe Daly, if he angled back in at Lewis, it might help. Well, they haven't worked him over in defence, and a, again, a poor mistake there from Cliffy Lyons. I think you've got to work at Wally, you know. Lyons is going across, he's bringing runners inside, so Wally can drop off Cliff Lyons when he does head that way. I think maybe if they bring Daly into 5'8", have a go at him with his speeds and his size, work him over a little bit. Meninga now. Just a couple of metres into New South Wales area. Two points to nil. Certainly one of the lowest scoring origin games we've had. And it could finish up as an all-time record low. 32 metres out, centre of the ground. Good place to attack on the last. Langer goes to the air. It's a big midfield bomb and Alexander was equal to the task. Crunched by Lewis. O'Connor gets out from dummy half. Now it's Daly. The speedy men getting into dummy half and getting it away. Johns, another speed man getting in close to the play to get it out from the danger zone. Stewart, driving defence. Larson was one of them. Interesting to note that young Larson, he topped the tackle count for Queensland first half at 15, and he wasn't far away in the hit ups at 11. Willie Khan. Just over the halfway, taken around the bootlaces by Michael O'Connor, over the top by Hasler. Hoff again, met by Sirin and flung to the ground. Now it's Bella. Good run by Bella. Rampaging run. Inside the 32. One of the Blues is injured. It's Stewart. Langer stands in Sirinan's tackle. That's not a bad trick. Three sets of hands away to Gavin Allen. Allen tackled just outside the 22 line. Away from Walters to Langer. Lewis, long ball Meninga. Jackson turns it round the corner for Meninga. Flick passes for Khan. Stands in the tackle to Lewis. Lewis calls on Meninga. The big man stands. Now they're put down. 12 metres out. Fifth tackle, the crowd loved it. Jackson, Langer, dangerous here. The grubber, right in amongst the uprights there. New South Wales clean up, line drop out. The Maroons will come back with six more. And the Maroons certainly well on top here, maintaining some pressure now. I'll get the ball back again from the drop out. Good play there from Andrew Eddinghausen to clean up that little kick through, but uh, plenty of pressure for the Blues at the moment. Hoff takes it back. Good drop kick, 55 metres. Yes. Graham Lowe, his side, holding the cards at the moment. No doubt about that. Queensland at the moment looking very, very determined as Gavin Allen takes it up very, very quickly, though, by Elias. Now they're on the attack inside that danger zone, and look at this as Walter strides away. He gets the ball away, too. Meninga will pick it up. He gets it on to Jackson. Jackson flicks it back for Meninga. Meninga looking for support. He gets it on to Coyne. Coyne goes hard, 10 metres out. Queensland on the attack now. Lewis gets it on to Langer. Langer looking. Too much defence, though, that time. Held it up maybe a little bit too long. Jackson gets it to Lewis. Lewis stabs at the ball. Plenty of chases. But a beautiful save. For New South Wales, jumping on the ball, Johns. Alexander, getting them out of trouble. Gee, they've been under some pressure with a capital P. Danny Elias, listen to this crowd, they're revving up Queensland. Still leading 2-0. 
They've got to get through this period, New South Wales. A great hit there from Gavin Allen. And it looks like Ian Roberts straight from back five yards. That's the kind of impetus that the Maroon side are looking for. And, you know, they're, they're playing very well at the moment. Lions, Hasler, Hasler gets four or five very, very valuable metres. Lions dummy half. Roach is like a traffic cop, waving the ball. Stewart gets his kick in. Comes down to Hoff. Hoff winds up over the halfway line. They come at him, though, the big man. So tall. As... Should be playing basketball, but he plays pretty good football. Let's leave him where he is. Tower of a man. Willie Kahn. Across the field. Gets out of two. Good run from Kahn. He's been impressive. Walters. Larson. Again, they're getting down toward that 22 line. They're 32 out now. Jackson with a run. He ran right onto that ball. Still spinning and running. Just manages to stay in the field of play with some good play from Jackson. Langer. Langer changes direction. Gets it out to Jackson. Jackson now with Lewis. 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 And the Partners on the arena Oh, if he scores, they'll go man. Hancock puts it up. Penalty has gone to Queensland. Well, Peter Sterling. Well, a good intercept from Des Hasler. He didn't have to reach too far to take it in, but a lot of pressure there. Hasler coming back onside in defence, and uh, he didn't have much option but to catch that football. Timmy Sheen's high in the stand. More pressure for New South Wales. Meninga with the ball. Now, let's have a look at this again. Hancock threw it straight to Desi Hasler. And they'd have had to put some thought in about this decision whether to kick for goal or maintain pressure and try and put points on. It is quite a difficult kick and they, there's probably little doubt that Mel Meninga will put the ball dead. But I thought New South Wales looked ready to crack. Well, Peter, I've got to say to you, here the other day at a closed session, I cannot believe how many times he kicked and I'm telling you, he didn't miss one of them. Well, that's probably put the mock on him here, Darrell. I'd say he's got no chance of kicking <laughs> this one. I've done it before. Mel Meninga... What a record for Queensland. What a player he's been for Queensland. Twenty-one origin games. Mal Meninga has played. Four tries, fifty-seven goals, one hundred and twenty-nine points. Lines up now, right on the junction of the twenty-two. About. Eight in. There it goes. Certainly got the height. Can it swing in? No, sir. Well, I did put the mucker on him, Pete. You did put the mucker on, and the ball didn't go dead. Greg Alexander's been able to run it out to the 22-metre line, and uh, that's a great piece of play from Alexander. Alexander now. So New South Wales are out of trouble for the moment, but they really do need to play the game at the other end of the pitch. They've been camped down here for a while now. Comes out through Stewart. On to Gillespie. He winds up. Oh, the big charge come through from Lewis. Stewart on the Lions. Lions flops the ball over for O'Connor. O'Connor stepping, but they're pretty quickly on him. Midway between the quarter and the half. New South Wales into the ground. Lions again. Comes back for Stewart. Stewart shapes the kick, doesn't get the time. Now he gets the kick in. Nice play from Stewart. Didn't get the, uh, the chance first time round, but gave himself time. Hoff brings it back. Johns lines him up, takes him too with a beautiful tackle. Edding Housen in there to help. I really think that New South Wales need to get back to how they would start the game. It's been a long time since I've seen Steve Roach hit the football up. As we have... Well, I was in this tackle. Out. Watch this. Off comes in. Johns lined him up. Ball and all. Bang. Down he went. Edding Housen over the top. And it fell very awkwardly. Shoulder injury too. Well, you know about that, Pete. Yeah, not much fun at all, and uh, as we say, certainly did fall very awkwardly. This would be a big blow to the Maroon side. Right, as Hoff gets treatment, we'll take a break.
Welcome back to Lang Park. Queensland 2. New South Wales yet to score. And Paul Hoff is being escorted from the field. Well, he's been, to my way of thinking, the best Queensland player and possibly the best player out there tonight, Peter Sterling. And it looks like it's ended with a, a shoulder injury for Paul Hoff. Yes, and a very unfortunate way for Paul Hoff to leave the field. It will be interesting to see if Bobby Linder can uh, get to the Queensland camp and see if Hoff will be back at any stage during this match. Alexander puts a little goofy step into his work. O'Connor. Just looking for the Queensland replacement. And 15 is Renoff. Steve Renoff is on for Paul Hoff. Roach. Willie Khan drops back to fullback. Incidentally, topping the tackle count for the match at half time was Roberts with a whopping 21. And for you people keeping uh, stats on the game as far as time in possession, Queensland had it for 17 and a half minutes first half. New South Wales 14 and a half. This is Johns. He's 32 metres away from his own line. But they haven't seen much of the Queensland territory in the second half. Hasler. A half break for Des Hasler. Langer low, Lewis high. They keep going left for Stewart. He plugs it into that corner. Khan, now from full back. Renoff about to get his first touch of the ball. Debut player. Gavin Allen. What's the story on Paul Hoff, Bob Linder? Can you help us? Well, unfortunately, Paul popped his shoulder in that tackle and uh, the trainer said it popped back in on the way back to the uh, seats here. So it's very unlikely you'll see Paul Hoff back in the game. Jackson kicks. Good kick, too. Down towards the corner. Good place to have the attack coming from. Alexander. Works to the sideline. Beats Meninga. Meets Langer. There's some worried faces amongst the New South Wales senior members at the moment. Sirenin. As I was saying before the Paul Hoff injury, I really think that New South Wales need to just go back to the basics, hit the ball up. I haven't seen Steve Roach come into the game at all. I've just got to be prepared to take the hard yards and then work off that. Roberts wants it. This is him, the big fella. Effectively pulled down there by Larson. Having a good game. Stewart. Just fancy that on some occasions as we watch the kick down ground to be brought back by Khan that maybe Stewart could have kicked on earlier tackles. Well, uh, yeah, that may be the case, but it, it's nice to have the football in your hand for a while and get a little bit of a breather in some cases. It's been a very flowing game of football going from end to end. But, um, yeah, they've got to work on field position. The kicking game has been quite good. It's Queensland now with Meninga taking it out down a narrow blind. Folding back on side, Daly. Daly's heading for the corner. Daly, oh, he had one to beat. He got inside Khan, but he got a hand to him. Elias picks up the dregs from a bad play, the ball. Benny Elias now. Eight metres away from the line. Good defence by Queensland. Elias was the last to get up. That's gone backwards, but Queensland's later. He's come through very quickly. Well, that was a golden opportunity for the Blues, but they got very sloppy. Let's take a comment from the sidelines from Gavin Miller. Ray, that could have been one of the most significant plays of the night. Martin Bella, not renowned for his speed, but he just perseverance kept him there, and he come up with a big play on Laurie Daly, who was certain to score after beating... Uh, I'm not quite sure who it was, but nevertheless, we've got two major changes that are, that are coming on now. Fintler's coming on for Des Hasler, and we see Gillespie will be replaced by Glenn Lazarus. Well, it doesn't surprise that Tim Sheens would resort to Brad Fittler. He's the sort of player that can probably break this for New South Wales. Electrifying player. And there they are, Lazarus and Fittler ready to come on now. Replacement players for New South Wales, and I think they need a, new, a little bit of new blood, Peter. 
Yes, getting to that stage of the game now. We may be infused with a couple of fresh players. May just break this deadlock. I said there were going to be a lot of points scored. I don't know if that's going to eventuate, but uh, this may help. Well, again, some messy plays, some bad handling and sloppy. Elias is just going off out there, but, I mean, uh, it has been a bit messy. I've got to say this, Peter, during training... Graham Lowe has been kicking loose balls around for this team all the time and then been diving on it. And that, that was exactly what they trained for when Langer dived on that ball just a short uh, while ago. Well, invariably, when the ball has gone to ground, it's been a maroon jumper that's been able to get on it. And that's as good as a scrum ring, Darrell. Exactly. So, sometimes you see things in training that never work. Other times, it just keeps happening for you. Larson now takes it up. Hard and straight. Fittler there. He's involved in 17. Bella. In back play, we have Cliff Lyons struggling to get to his feet. He looks like he's got a problem with his hand. Yes, he does. He's bending over in uh, some pain. Here's Lewis now. Lewis has got some support. And he's holds it up. Malmeniga. Can he get there? Big Mel. Oh, yes, he's done it. And finally cut the line. Queensland. Oh, you can put that down to Lewis and Meninga. That experienced pair have done it. They finally cracked this New South Wales side who was going to come up here and run rampant over the Maroons. Oh, listen to the crowd. Don't they love those two? Lewis and Meninga, the nemesis. New South Wales can't believe this. Blocker shaking his head. Elias is talking to them. Well, this game has been played on emotion like they all are, but watch this. Out it came. Now Lewis, Lewis didn't know what to do, so he dragged it in and held it up. He gave it to Meninga. Well, the last line of defence just couldn't stop him from there, Peter Sterling. No, it was the old firm once again. Pretty excited uh, bunch of Queensland players there, and that's Meninga's fifth state of origin try. We see Lewis did all the work through the dummy. Eddinghouse and had to go outside. Greg Alexander stood his ground. I don't know if it would have made much difference, but you're not going to stop Mel Meninga in full flight standing still. Oh, boy. Well, New South Wales have had their chances, Ray Warren. But by gee, it's a tough assignment now. It's a long way back in state of origin football. It's a long way back in any brand of football, I guess. The kick at goal to come from Meninga, though. OK, Meninga lining it up. Probably the best angle he's had, Peter, too. Yes, and a very important kick. Now six points to, to nil. If he puts this one over, eight just makes it a little bit harder. They've got to score twice. Critical kick from Mal Meninga. Score, scoring his fifth try in state of origin. Well, it doesn't look all of that good. It's waved away straight away. So the score remains. Queensland 60, South Wales nil. Welcome back to Lang Park from the kickoff. Queensland inside their 22. Walters is on now. That's Kevin Walters. In jumper number 14. And I'll work out who's off in a moment for you. Straight away he's involved. Ray, can you uh, tell me who's off there for Queensland for Walters? I'm doing my best, boy. OK. I don't know if Steve Renoff is out. Oh, no, he played the ball there, so he's still involved. Andrew G is off. That's who's off. OK. Oh! Queensland now, and have a look at this. Down they go as well as he's got Lewis in support. Lewis gets the ball. Oh, no, that's great defence. They get him right on the line. Lewis, well, a bad play of the ball. daly has got it. daly has got a penalty to Queensland, though. What a sensational attempt and eventual tackle by Roberts, though. The big man pursued Lewis. He followed the play right down the ground, and he made a tremendous attempt and made the tackle on Lewis. Well, Wally Lewis streaking away there. Look at the eye. He's caught one early in the game. He's been carrying that eye. Unbelievable football here from Queensland. I said it before, they grow a leg here. Now watch it. Here comes the pass. And look at that tackle from Roberts. You're right. It was just centimetres in it. You could see where the line was. And the penalty given, Peter. Yeah, they went for broke the Blues. They had to stop a try being scored there. But some, some very ominous signs for the New South Wales team. Some... 
enormous crack starting to open up in their defence. And listen to the crowd, listen to the chant. Lyons going off the field. He copped an injury a little while ago. We mentioned he was down in some pain. Well, a sensational second half here from Queensland. They have got the Blues on the rack. And Ninga again from almost the same position as his last kick, but of course on the other side of the ground. Magora is on. Daly will go to 5 8. The Cronulla centres will be together, I'd say. OK. Lining up for Ninga right on the junction. 22 10 in. The score 6 0. There's the angle as he sees it. Ball goes up, he's not kicking too well. I've certainly put the mucker on him because, believe you me, at training, he never missed one. Well, the Blues come back. Now, what do they do, Peter? You've said go back to the basics, just run onto the ball. Back to the basics. They're only six points behind, and that's that's another reprieve, this goal kicker from Noel Meninga. If they'd have gone eight clear, I don't think the Blues could get back into this match. But they've just got to play good possession, good position, and, uh, and try and stop, cut out the silly mistakes, get their defence in order. Words from Peter Sterling, a little general from Parramatta, who, of course, has worn the blue jumper with such distinction, worn the Australian jumper, and, of course, the Parramatta jumper with such distinction. Here they go again. Well, they're making break after break. Renoff gets onto the ball, but they're opening up. They're making the break so easy. Look at Tim Sheens. Paul Broughton behind him. They can't believe this, Ray. Well, they better. It's on the scoreboard. No doubt about that. It's on the scoreboard with only 12 minutes left to play. Out they come now. McGaw. Wrapped up by Lewis. Both coaches at the moment are on the sideline. You can cut the atmosphere here. But it's just tense. New South Wales running out of time. This powerful side that some say the best picked in seven or eight years. Trailing 6 0 at the moment, and Queensland have been making the breaks. Here's Daly. Daly dancing. He's boxed up. They've corralled him up. Back they go for the ball. Queensland will come up with it again. Another chance for the Maroons. And this crowd just revving them up. They're all popped up. Goes up to Langer now. Langer out to Lewis. Lewis spins around, but no one there to take it, so he takes the tackle. I think that was a bad call by the ref. I saw, saw uh, Queensland hand get to the ball. It should have been a knock on. Walters, Walters for Ray Warren. This is another chance for Queensland. Yes, they've got four on this set of six remaining, but it should have been a scrum back where Alfie Langer got a touch to the ball. Queensland will probably work this to the centre of the ground and go for the drop goal. Bella now. He's almost got them to the right position. Langer. Where's Lewis? He'll probably fold in behind to play the ball. He has. He's very deep and calling for it. Jackson sweeps it to him. They take the option. Now it's to Khan. It broke down. No doubt in my mind they were setting for the field goal. Brandy Alexander. Out to the 22. They were setting for the field goal. It was good pressure from Ricky Stewart. He realised the situation. Got out and put pressure on both kickers, Jackson and Lewis. Michael O'Connor now. In fact, John. Sirenen taken by Larson. Has not shirked his task one iota. Tremendous debut from the North Sydney player. Lazarus. Considered the top front row forward in the world on his return from the Kangaroo Tour. From Roach to McGaw. Fit is the sort of player that can break this for New South Wales. Daly's kick. Deep into the corner, should find touch. Does. Ten metres out from the Queensland line. Well, this scrum the pack. Ten metres out. Queensland's feed. They get it. Hancock, centre field, 12 metres out from the line. New South Wales certainly need the ball and to do something very special, Peter Sterling. Yes, they do need to do something special. And, and that's not very special at all. An easy 20 metres up the middle there for Gary Coyne. 
fortunately he did come up with a lost ball at the end of it but one player I'm sure you will see really come to life in this last 10 minutes is Wally Lewis he'll direct proceedings he knows that they're six in front and he'll make sure that they play good field position and good ball control ran off for the ball coined down flat and he's back being trained now as Renoff takes the ball down the park midway between the half and the quarter Queensland's into the ground Gavin Allen Coyne up to her on his knees, but very groggy. Comes out to Jackson. Jackson now, wrapped up pretty quickly, but they're almost back to the halfway line. Malvin Inger in a dummy half. He's looking for Bella. Takes the ball himself, though, and gets right onto the halfway line, just into New South Wales territory now. Out for Lewis. Lewis immediately wants to play it down that end of the ground. The New South Wales end of the ground. Ball goes loose from Alexander. OK, though. Brings it out by 13 metres. Johns goes for a gallop from dummy half and slips through. Well, we've seen a bit of slipping from the players tonight. Yeah, the ground at Lang Park always seems to carry a little bit of dew. I know that uh, it was always difficult to uh, to handle the ball. I don't think that's an excuse for tonight, but sometimes it does pose a bit of a problem with your footing. Blocker Roach, Gavin Miller, sideline. Yes, Ray, they just seem to be going through the motion at the moment, the New South Wales side. They need a game breaker, an Alexander, an Eddinghausen, or a Fittler. They're struggling at the moment. No doubt about that. Oh, and they've lost the ball, so they're really struggling. Well, they keep for harping on the fact that Lowe wanted them on loose balls, and Peter, they haven't missed one. No, they haven't. They've been very good. Very The, the reflexes in that area has, has been very good. A very worried Tim Sheenton. He's got every right to be that way. I think he sees uh, his side going down in a defeat here, one that he wouldn't have expected. Coin recovered from the knock that he took just uh, two or three minutes ago. Walters out for Gavin Allen. He winds up. Brought down pretty quickly, though. Dyer, Siren in the tacklers. Walters gets it on for Bella. Bella gets it on to Lang. A long pass over for Walters. Gets it back inside again. This time for Hancock. Hancock gets loose. Hancock starts to hit for the 22 and inside, but taken down. Oh, they look dangerous, Queensland, with the ball at the moment. They're finding, they're probing. Wallace with a little chip kick. The chase is on. Alexander, beautiful hands, though, Alexander. And still goes out of the tackle. Gee, he plays so well. He's so safe. <laughs> he took a very dangerous option there. If he'd have been put into touch, I'm sure that the, uh, the other 12 Blues players wouldn't have been too impressed. But he did get them out of trouble, and uh, they've got 90 metres to go. He's done it a few times tonight, too, as Gaia winds up. Colossus of a man, and he's crushed into the turf here. Graham Lowe. By gee, what a coaching record this fellow's got. He can turn them around. He came up here with a team of underdogs. And at the moment, still leading 6-0. And the Blues still inside their 22. 6.06 left in this match. Roach. And they're just gang tackling now, Rabbits. They certainly are, aren't they? As we find that clock counting down inside the last six minutes in New South Wales, plugging that ball deep into Queensland territory. It lollies around in the in goal. Renoff brings it back now. Two of the fresh players down the ground, McGaw and Fittler. Meninga, Khan, Queensland, six points to nil. They went into this match as the rank outsiders, really. But they played New South Wales 18 times here at Lang Park in State of Origin history, and they'd beaten them 12 out of the 18. And we spoke early on before the game, Ray, about the Lang Park influence, the crowd influence. This is where it's going to be in evidence. This last five minutes, they they will lift this side. New South Wales have never been held scoreless in a state of origin match. Tonight could be that night. Played by Eddinghausen, swept by Elias for Stewart. Short ball for Geyer. Went backwards, Roach. No, the referee's willing to knock on. Well, that could again be a very crucial decision. I'm not sure whether it was a knock-on, but uh, been brought back a, a short ball to Roach here, put him under plenty of pressure. So Queensland come away with the ball. This is Khan. Khan over the halfway, still going. Lewis supports him. Eddinghausen chases, throws the ball, hoping to find a maroon jumper. 
picked up by Gaia for New South Wales. Swept away for Michael O'Connor. He's over the 22, picked up by Renoff. Brett Fittler works to the blind side. Langer's there in company with Coyne. Inside the last four minutes now. That's the halfway line. Queensland six. New South Wales not on the board for the first time in origin football. Paul Sirinan plays it to Balmain teammate Benny Elias. Stewart puts in the chip. There's a chance for Alexander, but it comes down to Renoff. Back on his own 22. Yeah, unfortunate piece of play there. Very well worked drill there. The little kick over the top for Alexander. But again, another easy break for Kevin Wallace, who has been put over the sideline. That's a good break for the New South Wales team. But a nice little kick, that one from Stewart for Alexander. This is going to be one of the last throws of the dice for New South Wales, as you see the time. Getting down close to the three-minute mark. They come up with the ball to Daly at 5 8 and to McGaw at inside centre. Stands, finds Eddinghausen. Eddinghausen gets it away for Daly. Daly's up to the 32. Taken there by Jackson. Not held. Daly doing some pirouetting. Brought down just outside the 22 line. This may be the last throw of the dice, Ray. Elias. Brad Fittler. Elias again out from dummy half to Stewart. He was going left. He turns it back to the centre for Sirenen. Queensland now. Holding on. Elias to the right for Stewart. On to Alexander. Floats it to Daly. Daly's kicks a grubber and a beauty. Daly scores. Great play, Murray Daly. In in the corner. Six points to four with the kick to come, but a superb piece of play for Laurie Daly. A little bit more concern now for Graham Lowe on the sidelines. Well, we just saw some of the skills from this young man, Laurie Daly, that uh, has had a lot of people suggesting he's the best player in the world. Back after five weeks on the injury list with the fractured cheekbone. Watch this. Beautiful kick. Had little space to work in. Weighted it perfectly and gives the Blues a chance to pull out a draw. Well, I think that was the last thing that Michael Hancock expected was Daly to put the, the boot onto the, the ball onto his boot. A good ball there from Ricky Stewart out wide. Little kick through. Hancock had to turn. Laurie Daly had too much speed. Plants the ball down. So Laurie Daly playing in his fourth origin game. Gets the try to give Michael Hancock the chance to bring us level. I suppose you have to wonder, Ray, as to how much goal-kicking Michael O'Connor's been doing. Of course, Matthew Ridge does it all for his club at home, the Manly Club. Um, O'Connor probably hasn't kicked a great deal this season. Won't have a, a greater pressure kick in many a day than this one. Michael O'Connor, 119 points in origin football. Tops the New South Wales tally. But never has he had a more important kick than this. Two metres in. 20 metres out. No, he hasn't given it enough. No goal. Queensland six, New South Wales four. Now the ball went dead over the, the dead ball line on the full. O'Connor is going to have a kick from goal from the middle of the field on the halfway line. If he puts this over, the Lang Park crowd will go crazy. Let's see it again. 
I was looking for a player who I thought was over the line, but you're quite right, Pete. It's over the dead ball line on the full. And still a chance for New South Wales to pull it out. And Greg Alexander has said, I want it. Well, I think Michael O'Connor would have struggled with the distance here. I don't know about Greg Alexander. I'll predict that he, he won't get the distance as well from halfway. Head on to Greg Alexander. Well, there's been some sensational finishes to origin matches. Queensland coach Graham Lowe had come onto the field. Alexander, he hasn't got the distance. Still, I was right. Lewis takes the ball. He won't give a voluntary tackle. Now, the game is over. Queensland, six. New South Wales, four. And the big scoreboard says the Emperor strikes back. And there he is. A smile from ear to ear. Carrying the, the wounds of battle. Graham Lowe makes his second entry onto the park. As you would have seen, he was actually ushered off by the touch judge. And now an embrace from Lewis and Lowe, two great contributors to the game. What a tremendous effort by Lewis, but the man with him, Graham Lowe, struck down with terrible sickness earlier in the year he scrambled back to the helmet manly he knew he had this job at the same time Angling. then he had to make the decision he left it to the doctors and he comes back with the sweet smell of success tonight Bella and Lewis flanking Graham Lowe the one thing they do know how to do up here Ray is to win a great crowd, great reception to the players out there, and especially to Graham Lowe. Plenty of pressure on him in his first stint as State of Origin coach. The arms were raised above the head, and rightly so. They've worked hard for this win. Six points to four in the end, but they were by far the better team over 80 minutes.